New Orleans is known for many things, from riverboats to jazz, but especially its food. You know about the oysters, the gumbo, and of course the beignets. But the real star may be that po' boy. We sent Morocco to check it out. Everybody has to have their po' boy sandwich in New Orleans. It don't matter what joint they go to, they gotta have it. The po' boy, a staple of New Orleans cuisine. A foot-long sandwich traditionally stuffed with fried gulf shrimp or roast beef. Or, if you're lucky enough to get to Parkway Bakery in New Orleans' mid-city neighborhood, Justin Kennedy will combine the two in a surf and turf po' boy. If I were standing across the room and saw these sandwiches from over there, I would think these are submarine sandwiches. What would I be getting wrong? Submarine sandwiches. First of all, it's an insult. This is a New Orleans po' boy. Typically slathered, the locals say dressed, with mayo, lettuce, and Creole mustard, the po' boy has a rich history. Back in 1929, during a strike by streetcar workers, bakers and brothers Clovis and Benjamin Martin began feeding the strikers for free. A simple repast, just gravy and meat scraps on French bread. Inexpensive, but oh so delicious to the hungry workers the brothers had dubbed Poor Boys. Over time, the name stuck. Well, sort of. We don't like to, you know, work too hard, so it's, it's a little bit more work to, you know, say the whole thing. So we uh, slang it, Poe Boy. But what makes the Poe Boy a Poe Boy, and not just a, well, sandwich? It's all about the bread. The 28-inch loaves come only from local bakers. Uniquely flaky and hearty on the outside, yet somehow soft as a pillow on the inside. It's like down. Yeah, you just it's can't so do that. soft. The secret ingredient, says Josh Domolisi, is New Orleans humidity. It's hard to get a consistency because of the changes in humidity. He should know he's the fourth generation to run Domolisi's, an unassuming up-down joint where regulars still jostle for bar stools. How many stars have critics awarded this place? Who cares? It's already got three Super Bowl rings. Quarterbacks Peyton and Eli Manning were basically raised on the po' boys here. At least come after practice. And each of them would sit down and eat two of these, two large shrimps in one sitting. So six big pieces like yeah. that, each yeah. of them. Yeah. Mere mortals should probably stick to just one. But don't forget the Barks root beer. It's a must. Don't worry, it comes in diet because that'll really cut down on the calories. The po' boy isn't a sandwich for neat necks. Locals say if your fingers aren't sticky and your elbows aren't dripping, you aren't eating it the right way. And they're not exactly eco-friendly. Our research found that the bite to napkin ratio is approximately one to one. I found that out the easy way. Wow, very good. At Killer Po' Boys, a tiny kitchen in the back of a bar that's turning out what they call new school po' boys. I see it like it draws influence from all around the Mediterranean. Cam Boudreaux and his fiancee, April Bello, are classically trained chefs who've taken the po' boy to places he never dreamed of going. Sumac carrot relish, anyone? Perhaps you'd prefer a vegan po' boy. Yes, they exist here. For a sandwich that was developed for poor, striking transit workers, your product sounds pretty high-end. Yeah, I would say that uh, the, the, the techniques and the ingredients are high-end, but um, the delivery is definitely very New Orleans. Really, you can put anything in it and serve it anywhere. Because in this town, a po' boy will always be a po' boy. It's just a way of life. It's like going to church. It's like walking your dog. It's a lifeblood of New Orleans. And I'm glad to be part of it. And so am I. And so in front of us, we have a whole cavalcade of po' boys from Parkway Bakery. Uh, we have uh, shrimp over here, roast beef. Uh, there's catfish down on the end. There's surf and turf. I think Charlie might have potatoes and gravy. And I've got, of course, alligator sausage. <laughs> So Drew, yeah. so Drew covered. So Drew does a professional athlete's a diet include po' boys? <laughs> Occasionally, special occasions. <laughs> well, and, and as, There's too it, many good ones. Yeah, and as, and Eli and Peyton Manning were basically raised on them here. <laughs> in the so, you're, so you're saying if you grow up eating po' boys, you will become a Super Bowl champion? Yes, and, 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 if, and, if, and if the Super Bowl is here in five years, I'll be playing because I intend to eat a lot of them. All right. Drew, I don't know why everybody in this town doesn't weigh 300 pounds. Honestly, the food is so good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mo.